Pray, let's start this guide right off. Belladon is an old dungeon that's been reworked and is now much more punishing. So when you first enter the dungeon, you're gonna start shooting the boss. After you deal enough damage, you'll enter phase 1. Phase 1. The boss will begin shooting out all kinds of bullshit that deals a lot of damage, slows you, and on top of that, bleeds you. She'll then begin shooting out waves of blueberries before finally entering phase 2. This is where most players first nexus. The boss summons 12 of these baby flowers that circle around the boss. Position yourself between these two roots. The baby shootout petals that slow you. They don't actually do any damage, they only slow. What you should actually watch out for is these fucking things. If you stand in between the two roots, you should avoid all of the bombs, no problem. However, there's one little shit that thinks it's special so it can hit you in the middle. The bombs will fall in a fixed pattern. Corners, one side, corners, the other side, corners, one side. Rinse and repeat. Simply take a step to the opposite direction of where it's going to fall. Prioritize dodging the bombs and once you get the rhythm, proceed to shoot the baby. The babies move about 180 degrees around the boss before turning around and going the other way. The more you kill, the easier it gets. Once you kill all the babies, you will enter phase 3. Phase 3. At first, the boss will stay in the middle and shoot you. Then all around the map, flowers will spawn that damage and slow you. The boss will then start moving around the map inside the flower circle. You could kill the flowers, but it's best to just move around the inside and shoot the boss because they respawn quickly. When you deal enough damage, you will enter phase 4. Phase 4. The boss will spawn 4 children that circle it. This is not a problem as they don't do much damage. However, the boss will also start shooting those fucking things again. Except this time, they home in on you. A good idea is to rotate around the bombs as zigzagging will not always work due to the short delay some bombs have when homing in on you. Once you do enough damage, you will enter the survival phase. This is where most players will die or nexus. The children will each move to a corner and begin bombarding you with all kinds of bullshit. You need to quickly move in between one of the children and the boss. Or if you're like me, fall asleep, forget to move and almost die. The best way to survive this phase is to either follow the leaves as they come down or wait at almost 90 degrees for the leaves to come to you then quickly run up. It is possible to run through the leaves without taking any damage, but it's very hard to pull off. If you get lined up here, you're going to die. The leaves each deal 150 armor piercing damage. You also have to watch out for the blue bombs that circle around. Those things aren't pillows either. Now, once you get the hang of avoiding most of the damage, you will realize you're supposed to shoot the boss to make the children vulnerable. Once you do, just kill the child and you've created yourself a little safe spot. So take a breather and restock your pots if you're bad like me. Granted, you won't be able to regen mana because the boss shoots out quiet shots every so often. You have to weave your way to the next child. This is the second easiest time to get lined up and die. You have to kill all four children to proceed to the next and final phase. Observe the master weaver nearly killing himself and now doing it properly. Upon killing the fourth and final child, you will move to the fifth and final stage. Phase 5. The boss will get up off of its chair and begin chasing the nearest player. It will dash towards the player, wait about one second, then shoot a volley of leaves. Now, there is a safe spot in all the attacks, but because I'm ranged, I don't have to worry about that. Sometimes the boss will once again spawn the flowers. These fucking things can very well ruin your day, so just do your best to weave around while shooting the boss. And there you have it, now pick up your loot and proceed to the portal victorious.